everybody. Island Blood here. We've got an announcement here. Uh, nothing. Don't freak out. Everything's fine. But uh, starting in January, Easy Allies is going to be officially moving to more of a part-time structure. Yeah. So we're going to keep doing the Easy Allies podcast and group streams uh, for as long as we can, for sure. Uh, but basically, everything else is going to be kind of on a voluntary basis uh, based on when people are available. So if people want to collaborate on something like a special video or review or something like that, they can do that. But there just might be less emphasis on like trying to hold people to hard deadlines or whatever. We're just going to be working around one another's schedules. Because we've essentially been living and working on a part-time salary for a few years. Uh, we've tried a lot of things to turn that around uh, to increase our financial income. Uh, we've done more sponsorships, more streams, all kinds of stuff. Uh, nothing has really pushed that momentum back up um, into like a full-time rate sort of a territory. So realistically, our best option is to try to get other work. Um, but for those of us who find positions that would allow us to continue doing Easy Ally stuff on the side, we're going to definitely keep doing that. We love the podcast. We love this company. We love doing everything here. And uh, we definitely don't want it to go away or change entirely. And while this is kind of a, a tough announcement to make, I'm actually like really optimistic for a lot of this. Uh, it's kind of like like hitting the reset button on everything. Uh, I think there's a real chance that uh, this will give people a chance to sort of recharge their batteries, uh, give people more opportunities to be a little bit more open and creative with things that they want to do. Uh, and one thing that we saw uh, recently uh, with uh, our YouTube channel is that when we moved some of our, our lowing, lower performing shows off of the channel and on the Patreon and stuff, uh, is that our subscribers started going back up a little bit more consistently. Uh, so putting more of a focus on the podcast and game coverage itself, uh, I think could actually make us more popular over time and bring us into like just a more solid position overall. Yeah, I think focus is the the word. Like yeah. focusing what we're doing and like kind of building it up, maybe how we should have in the first place, like <laughs> yeah, building maybe, it from a, a solid foundation and coming back. And then who knows, in a year or two, maybe it's bigger than it ever was, you know? All right. So for one of us, uh, there has been an opportunity that's come up and Brad is going to be leaving us at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad, you've made a huge step up over the past couple of years. I think everyone's noticed. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Your, your writing game, your hosting game, especially like when you took over Frame Trap. Like you really have grown a lot in the time that you've been mm -hmm. with this company, you know, and then back from when you first started at yeah. GT. Like Thanks. I think, yeah, like just seriously, genuinely, like it's been really cool to see. Oh, thank you. I um, owe a lot to blood, <laughs> <laughs> especially on the writing side. Absolutely. Yeah. So like we're sad to see you go, but like yeah. we wish you all the best. Thank for you. I doing. appreciate it so much. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited for what's to come, but you know, I'm not going to be that far from Easy Allies. You know, it's not like I will never show up. Easy Allies ever again. You know, I might show up every now and then. Yeah. I'm not going to be part of the team officially like that, but I may be around every now and then. Yeah. So, <laughs> Won't be a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> I am sad to leave everyone because I love everyone I work with. But yeah. Um, yeah, just a really good opportunity came up for me. So yeah. decided to take it. Yeah. It's a bummer whenever a team member leaves, but we're always like, you know, really happy to see mm -hmm. like growth and like, we we wish you all the best for the future, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. It's yeah. It's going to be. And just, you know, everyone that supported us. I'm like incredibly thankful for all yeah. you people out there support us all, all these years. So thank you very much for all that. Yeah. Thank you. Also, the studio isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, like there is a cost to maintain the studio, rent and fees and bills and all that stuff. But we've got it. We love it. Uh, you know, we have it for a number of years. And so like we're going to use it. We're not going to let it go to waste. We're not moving fully remote or anything like that. Um, even though I think fully remote podcasts are great and they worked for us in the past, it could work again in the future. But we have this space. We're definitely going to use it. And, like, the vibes are just so good in here. Like, being able to, like, hug and grab each other's shoulders <laughs> and, like, Huber, I mean, in person is just, like, a, a force to be reckoned with. Um, so it's where we're comfortable and we really like it. And, and big stuff like Summer Game Fest, you know, it's just – you can't beat the studio. Yeah, when um, people are getting up off their chairs and running yeah. around the room and stuff. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's, so it's good. the best. Yeah, so don't worry about that. It'll be here. Uh, yeah, and then a couple of specifics. Uh, Frame Trap is going to get bundled into the podcast, uh, so there's going to be less focus on headlines, more game impressions. Uh, a lot of like the previews and stuff that we do will like f 
put into uh, the podcast that way. Uh, and this is something that you might have noticed I've been playing around with for a couple of months now. Uh, I had this idea a while ago, completely separate from any other thing. It was like, oh, this is what we want to do. This is what I want to do with the podcast. Yeah. It's going to like solve like all kinds of different issues. <laughs> um, and I was like ready to go. It's like, hey, hey hold on, yeah, hold on. We were like, let's hit 200. Yeah, like, yeah. Just so, yeah people want to let, let's, <laughs> let's let Frame Trap wrap up. Yeah, this is like two months ago. We were like, blood, hang on. <laughs> it's just like, uh, yeah. It well, kind of along those lines too. Like this isn't some knee jerk thing. Like we've been we've been thinking about this for months, uh, maybe since the beginning of the year. And like, it just makes sense. Um, like interpersonally and financially, like what we've got to do for right now. Um, and you might be thinking about our shows, stuff like Stream Team, Trash Babies, Achieve It Yourself. Uh, that kind of stuff will probably be. Uh, in group streams. So like we'll do a Trash Babies group stream or, yeah. a, or a Achieve It Yourself group stream. Um, so it'll still exist. All that stuff not going away. It's just kind of changing into a theme for a group stream night. Yeah, mostly stuff will be podcast and group stream. And if it was a show, there's a good chance it'll be a group stream. Uh, and we're still going to, like, pay off anything that we owe, you know, yeah, like yeah. that incentives and all that. We're still going to hit all those, so don't worry about that. And then finally, uh, we just want to say thanks to everyone yeah. who has supported us and continues to support us to this day. Uh, Easy Allies is truly something special. Uh, we love and appreciate this community so much. Uh, this is a new beginning, and we will see where it leads. <laughs>